the little settings on it. So when you're happy with the path, you watch the preview like two or three times. There's no weird stuff happening. It's not too fast. It's not too slow. Like the time of days are looking good. The materials are all rendering right. What you see here is really close to what the final rendering will be. The final render will be nicer quality, like the materials and stuff and like the little effects. But it's not going to be like, if it looked weird there, it's probably going to look weird. Like what might look nicer is like if it's a little grainy or like the speed is a little choppy, it might smooth that out but it's not going to dramatically change like what you're seeing here. Is that this is like a preview. And then depending on what settings you have set here, um, so if you go to capture, so here you have the quality, maximum or lossless would be like totally raw, it would export, and then you have the frames per second. This correlates basically to how smooth the video will play back, but it's going to make your file a lot bigger and take a lot longer to render. Does that make sense? Because you're telling it to do a lot more. So when you're ready and you check these and you make sure those are right, you go here and then we say we've saved a path and now you go render video. This will ask you where you want to save it and what type of file. Right now you can only do MP4. Um, you name it, whatever you want to name it, and you hit save. Once you hit save, it launches the render. And it can take like an hour or hours if it's like a really long and really complicated one. Um, I'm not going to do it during, because I'm recording right now, but I'll stop the recording and then launch this and, and I can come help you guys if you have any like specific questions on your model that you're working on. Um, but then I will, once that's done rendering, I'll upload the final render that it gets. So that way you can see what you got. And, and we literally made it here in class in like an hour from, from complete scratch. There was nothing in Enscape, and then we just made it all. So the actual animation part is super straightforward because Enscape does a lot of that work for you. And the nice thing is once you have that animation path, you can pause it at any part and export a rendering. So, when, so a lot of times you would think, oh, I should do the animation last. But in reality, if you do the animation first, you can keep exporting these little views out of it and you have like 20 renderings when normally you'd only have one rendering you can get like 30 and if you needed to see the other side rendered you could just like orbit like that and then just export that so at least you get something whether and then you can build the scene with like those people and like the chairs and stuff and then that helps you a lot too so it's super useful um, tool to have you have any questions before I switch it? Okay, so that's all I got.